What's the deal, YouTube? It's your boy, Next Gen 720 and I'm back with another video. Like I told you guys, I report all news. Um, it says that here, Team Ninja's boss defends the Wii U CPU and insists the console is definitely a next generation console. Uh, Team Ninja, um, the, you know, the jokes behind Ninja Gaten 3 and the upcoming Wii U's version of uh, Razor's Edge has pawned scorn on the claim that made last year by Metro Last Light developer for a the Nintendo's new console was hamstrung. I'm sorry, hamstrung by a horrible, uh, slow CPU. Um, he basically says that um, that Metro Last Light producers were making up excuses not to bring the game to the system. It was using the Wii U's perceived he says perceived lack of horsepower as a smoke screen, uh, as a smoke sorry as a smoke screen and that too much attention has been paid to the components inside the Wii U's casing and when the real appeal lies in what those components can actually do. He also said the Wii U is an, is an infant that has just been born. Team Ninja tells us it's a little unfair to compare it to mature platforms. The people have been working on. On for over five years, I'm sure people will find ways to bring out even more power as the platform matures. He said, to be completely blunt and honest, there is no way that the Wii U's process is horrible slow and compared to other platforms. I think that the comment was just for 4 a to try to find a scapegoat uh, as a simple uh, business decision on their part. Um, so, however, Team Ninja does not dispute that the Wii U spec sheet isn't much of a leap over current generation's console, if at all. But argues that the console functionality does more than enough for it to be classed as a start of art, I'm sorry, state of art next generation console. I'll read this again. He says that, however, Team Ninja does not dispute that the Wii U spec sheet isn't much of a leap over current generation console, if at all. But argues that the console functionality does not does more than enough for it to be classified as a next generation console. Uh, damn. Like I said here, you know what I mean? So, you know, I guess the jokers over there at Tecmo, if they're fond of the, the Wii U hardware, so they will be getting support, I guess, from Team Ninja. Well, if the game if the game sell, you know what I mean? You know, that's all about that. Whether they like a console or not, it's all about sales. You know, if they don't make dollars, it don't make sense, you know what I mean? But... They're saying what he just said is not not saying it's a big step up over what the current generation consoles have to offer, or maybe just on par with it. But you know what I mean. But he's saying it's not the CPU. It's something that you can work with. You know what I mean. I don't know how to, to take that. You know what I mean. Because like I said, we've been groomed us as gamers. When you think about a next generation console, like think about when you went from the PlayStation One to the from to the PlayStation Two, you was like, damn, you saw what your money was buying. You still like, damn, I bet. And that's the problem, you know, to be fair and all honest, I think that's the problem with a lot of gamers, such as myself, we don't see that yet with the Wii U. You know what I mean? You know, so like I said, you know, can't do it. And here's my honest opinion. Like I said, I am a man with an opinion. Check it out. I do believe in my heart of hearts that I do believe that the Wii U could have came out this generation, I'm sorry, as far as the seventh generation, you know what I mean? And let until I see something different or see something, you know, that states otherwise. You know what I mean? Like it may here's here's the PlayStation 3, here's the 360, maybe the Wii U may be here. So the problem here was looking, we're looking for the Wii U to be here, or at least here, but it's like right here. You know what I mean? It's not that much better than what we have now. You know what I mean? So in the way, you know, the gaming industry is now, everything is basically multiplex, especially for a gamer like such as myself. I don't care for Nintendo first party title, so you know, you know, like I said, I, I don't know. Like I said, we're gonna see. I'm gonna wait and see how Bayonetta 2 comes out, you know. But I will be a lot more happy with Nintendo if they will get at least get their network in order. You know what I mean? You know, I like I said, I never I expected Nintendo to be had the strongest console out of the gate. Well, because some of you several YouTubers were saying how powerful it's gonna be, it's gonna walk the dog on a you know, it's gonna that's my man Mr. Live word there. Yeah. It's going to walk the dog all over the 360 and the PlayStation 3. And you had Dr. Trey was saying all this stuff about how, indeed, you know, it's going to be that much more powerful. And this is going to have the definitive version. And the game is going to be in full 80, 1080p. And we have not gotten that. Not even nowhere close to that. You know what I mean? And I think Nintendo's getting a lot of the backlash. And this is not a hate video. Just being honest. You know what I mean? Um, like I said, I report all news. And I gave you some good news about the Wii U. 
that from the jokers from Team Ninja was saying. But, like I said, I think the problem is with most gamers, we have been spoiled. Because you think about it, we went from the PlayStation 2 into Xbox to wham, what we have right now. And I know everyone is saying, don't expect that big of a leap. But we do expect a leap. So, as I was saying, and I think, this is just to check it out, in all honesty, in all fairness, when you, once the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox 720 comes out, you will indeed be able to tell the difference between a Xbox 360 game and the Xbox 720, case in point. You will be able to tell the difference between a PlayStation 3 game and a PlayStation 4 game. You know what I mean? And I'm not just talking about title, I'm talking about fear, you know, and just by looking at the game. You know what I mean? I mean, it, it may not be that big of a leap, but you will be able to tell the difference by looking at these games. I believe that in my heart of hearts. You know what I mean? If anybody doesn't agree with that, you, you're just, you know, you're just like, like, come on, you know what I mean? Like I said, that's why I think the Wii U is getting a lot of slack, and you know what I mean, a lot of, like, let's just think about it. This console had two E3 appearances. They showed it at E3 2011. They showed it again at E3 2012. And it was like, damn, we still didn't know much about the system. You know, they were saying you're going to have online. So so the things we were, were expecting that we took for granted, like you thought you were going to be able to at least be able to have the send your friends invites. And not to, get, not to keep talking about that, because I don't want to talk about that shit anymore. But these are some of the things you, you, you thought would at least be there, and they're not there. So it's like, you know what I mean? Case in point, check it out. If at Microsoft would have launched first, or they came out with their Xbox 720 first, all eyes would have been on Microsoft. If Sony would have launched first, all eyes would have been on Sony. But being that Nintendo has the first 8th generation console out of the gate, all eyes are going to be on this platform. So any little fuck up that they do, you know what I mean? They were, People were already hesitant and skeptical about buying the system because the Wii, whether you like it or not, left a bitter taste in a lot of gamers' mouth. You know what I mean? You know, it, that was really more or less for the casuals. Like, come on, you know, I didn't care. And listen, I'm not knocking you guys that liked it. I just didn't care for it, okay? All right? So, like I said, you know what I mean? So, you know, so, like I said, I had a high hopes for the system. And I had a lot of, you know, that, you know, that the system is not, you know, meeting. Like I said, I'm going to wait for Bayonetta 2 and let's see where it takes me, man. At the end of the day, as I always say, check it out. Bang, bang.